Good morning, everyone. And thank you for all coming here. Um, before we introduce the governor and have him say a few words, I'd like to say a few words of introduction. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Keitlinger. I'm the general manager, Metropolitan Water District of Southern California. So we're certainly honored and pleased the governor's come down here to talk about the current evolving drought situation. Uh, it's something, as background, Metropolitan is the regional water importer for all of Southern California. We supply water to six uh, counties in Southern California and 19 million residents of Southern California. The 19 million residents is basically one out of every two Californians. And so we are uh, watching this rapidly evolving drought situation with a lot of concern for water supply throughout the Southland and throughout the entire state. Uh, our board leadership and uh, discussions with our chairman and our vice chairs of the board that we have here present, we are looking at doing three things at our February board meeting in response to this drought. So we will be taking up three things. The first is to declare a regional water supply alert. It's what we do. Our board adopts a resolution and it pushes out the message that we want all of Southern Californians to conserve water and we support the state's goal of 20% conservation. The second item we want to take up is that uh, our experience has been that the Southland consumers, the people of Southern California, have been tremendous conservers and they've always responded whenever we've asked them to respond in the past. And so what we want to do is support that response uh, financially. Our board puts aside money in our budget every year for conservation. Uh, our typical budget is $20 million a year. We expend on conservation rebates and programs for consumers. Uh, we'll be asking the board to double that budget and go up to $40 million for this year in response to the drought because we are confident that people will respond and want to and we want to be able to support them in that response. And third and finally, uh, I'm going to be talking to the board about getting direction of what we can help with the rest of the state. Uh, this is unprecedented. We have never seen conditions like this up in Northern California. In uh, the last major drought, 1977, very severe drought in California, uh, Metropolitan was able to uh, jury rig part of its Colorado River aqueduct, put on uh, sideboards on it and move water beyond capacity. And then we left water of Metropolitan's entitlement in Northern California, where they jury rigged a pipe to Marin County on the San Rafael Bridge and moved water to Marin. And so Metropolitan was able to help out Marin. Uh, this situation is so severe, we don't even have supplies up in Northern California that we could exchange, uh, but it's the end of January. That situation could change. Uh, so we were able to help the rest of the state in 1977. I'm going to be asking the board for uh, that we will look at all available tools to work with the rest of the state in response to this. Uh, at the time in 1977, I was a student at UC Berkeley, and so I wasn't involved in any of those decisions, but I do recall the activity. Uh, but this man here was actually governor in 1977, so he's been here for... Forever. Uh, <laughs> for certainly for a while and for two significant droughts. And so with that, I'd like to ask the governor uh, if he'd like to say a few words. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, this is my first visit uh, to the Metropolitan Water District, and it brings back some memories of my father telling me about the Met and how crucial it was in developing the California water plan. And so uh, I go back a long way. Uh, to the water wars with uh, Arizona and uh, fights over the Colorado River. And uh, then, of course, the drought in 1977. We did run a pipe across the Richmond Bridge. Uh, we're facing a uh, serious drought, obviously. Hopefully it'll rain, but who knows? Uh, there's evidence in the past that droughts went on not just for decades, uh, but even centuries. So uh, we're looking also at the problem of uh, climate change because of the buildup of heat trapping gases. So we have to be on the alert. We have to look at the facts as we see them. And in that respect, um, you've been here at the Metropolitan Water District, you've been doing uh, excellent conservation, a real example uh, to other areas of the state. You've invested uh, in resources and storage in ways that uh, other parts of the state have not. Uh, but going forward, we're all gonna have to uh, think very carefully about uh, efficiency and conservation, uh, the limits. What are the limits? What's the carrying capacity of California? And we have to find ways because at the end of the day, we need water. We're going to have to get water. Um, and uh, the first source is to not waste it. And through not wasting, we make it go a lot further. I spoke to President Obama 
uh, yesterday by telephone. Uh, he pledged his support to help California. I also asked him about uh, directly helping us on the Delta project. Uh, some of the lower level uh, officials uh, in, uh, from uh, the federal government are not being helpful, in fact, uh, quite the opposite. So uh, we're working in the short term, we're working to get funding uh, from the president, and we're working together uh, on a long-term uh, set of investments that will enable California to continue growing and contri uh, continue to have a high quality of life. But make no mistake, um, this drought is a big wake-up call and a reminder that it, uh, we do uh, depend on natural systems. It's not all just uh, going to the store and see what we can buy. Um, the tap requires water from uh, many places, and therefore we have to really uh, use technology and uh, self-restraint and uh, creativity uh, to manage this water resource in the best way possible. So uh, hopefully it's going to rain. If it doesn't, uh, we're going to have to uh, act in a very strenuous way in every part of the state uh, to get through uh, for how long? Six months, a year, six years? Uh, we don't know. We know going back in history, there have been some very, very long uh, droughts, which they call mega droughts, and we might well be in one of those. Don't know. So, got to take our steps. So, thanks for being here on short notice, and now I think we'll listen to what you have to say, because I want to take back to Northern California all the things you're doing and whatever uh, concerns and suggestions you have.